Hey guys, this is Bind, and today I'm going to uh, give you a rundown about Chatfield's new pricing. Uh, just detailing quickly the reasons, the new pricing, and give you three tips on how to save money or time. And uh, stay tuned for number three because it will blow your mind. So first of all, I want to show off my new hoodie. Uh, it has a great story. I uh, gave my address to the Chatfields team a year ago and it was eventually meant to be sent for Christmas. Hence I received this lovely Russian uh, Christmas holiday card. Uh, but uh, somehow it got stuck on the border and uh, I had to go back and forth with the team and uh, authorities or whatnot. And I just received it uh, a month ago probably and Chatfield updated their logo. but. Anyways, uh, it's not the old blue, so I'm all happy and it will be good for the winter, even in Russia, I guess. So having this hoodie on, I have to say uh, this video is not endorsed by Chatfuel. I just wanted to make because I saw so many people complaining about the prices and uh, I just can't even comprehend. I mean, uh, it still uh, has the free version. so. Uh, basically the free version has a little bit more restrictions and more branding to it but guys uh, it's a software uh, they work a lot on improving it and giving as much value as uh, they can so I would rather not uh, complain much about it but look for ways how can you monetize your bot or reduce the number of subscribers or just solve this on your own so the reason for the pricing is uh, Chatfield had a big, big uh, uh, increase in the number of users. They have way more, they handle way more bots than uh, it was kind of expected. And they had to upgrade their uh, infrastructure as well. I know uh, I, I listened or I heard uh, bits and pieces uh, about information that they have a really good infrastructure now, a really stable a bot platform. If you have experience with other platforms, uh, uh, yeah, you can appreciate this. Uh, there are many uh, crashes uh, around. So what I want to do now is just go over quickly the new pricing and uh, say like what's changing. So now the free plan uh, allows you to uh, send broadcasts up to 5,000 people. And this is the first uh, 5,000. So after that, you uh, won't be able to reach these people via broadcasts. But it doesn't mean that you uh, need to stop the bot uh, for new users. They will still have the functionality. So uh, if you are on a budget and you can't do anything, uh, you can still use it uh, that way. And the new pricing is also reduced. So uh, you have a little bit uh, better prices now. Uh, let's just look at this now. So you can start out with $15 only and uh, they reduce the prices for 1000 users as well also for 2000 users and so on. So you have uh, very friendly prices as of now. And uh, from 25000 on it's a custom price so they, they try to give the best uh, according to your needs. So now I want to go over uh, my three little tips on how to save on the subscription price or save time. Uh, one of them is um, reducing the number of the reachable users you pay for. And if you are on a non-pro plan, you still uh, can segment people and see uh, how many people you have segmented. So uh, I strongly suggest if you haven't done, this is a but in development so you don't have much here but if you haven't done you really have to uh, set up unsubscription it's really important it's not just for reducing the number of subscribers but uh, it's for for the people just respect them and give them the opportunity to unsubscribe and also uh, from Facebook side uh, you don't want to appear as a spammy uh, unvaluable uh, business for Facebook's users. So let's say it's uh, unsubscription and what you want to do is uh, create a user attribute and say uh, subscribed is uh, unsubscribed or something like that. 
you can do it uh, many ways. You can do the true, false, you can just use unsubscribe, yes, whatever. Uh, and you probably want to give them like, okay, you be unsubscribe. Maybe you want to them like, you can start again. And you give the welcome block. Okay, that's the mini minimum you have to do. And there are two words for this uh, in the industry, uh, stop and unsubscribe. So you want to add this stop and unsubscribe. And you want to link this block with uh, unsubscription. Okay, that's the minimum you want to have anyways. But if you have this, what you can do is uh, you can um, uh, broadcast to people only who are not unsubscribed. Okay or you have them extra subscribe but uh, here you can choose uh, subscribe and you can see um, yeah you can say uh, the value which is um, what was that? Uh, unsubscribe okay so what you can you have to set is, is not unsubscribe so you want to reach those users who have this attribute and here you can see the number of users so if your total reachable users is higher than this number, that means that people have unsubscribed your bot, you have a saving potential. And even, all, even if you just uh, update once, upgrade to the pro plan just to get rid of these people uh, and get under 5,000 again, uh, you can do that. Uh, so that, that's just one month. Uh, probably Chatfield has even like a uh, 24 hour uh, period when you can uh, still um, cancel I, I'm not entirely sure on that but uh, that way you can just uh, save money and stay on the free plan or have a smaller package uh, available for you All right. another thing that you can do is uh, look at the engagement there is this option and let me just uh, go here and you see last scene you can set up a date for that. So if the last scene is before, let's say, May, okay, uh, 2,000 users haven't used this uh, automation, this messenger, since uh, uh, May, and now it's uh, middle of July, okay. So you, you can do uh, and uh, tag these people, or well, if you're pro plan, you can just use this uh, segmentation. But maybe you can send out a message to them if they want to unsubscribe or not. Because they probably don't engage with it, uh, it's probably not relevant anymore. And again, it's just only if you aim to cut on the price you pay. Uh, so what you can do here is uh, manually unsubscribe them as well. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just have to create a sequence. And uh, the sequence would uh, contain uh, the a subscription block. That's it. Uh, yeah, let me just show you quickly. So you can just bring it here. Okay. And you can set it Im immediately. Uh, you can get rid of this if you want. Like uh, you don't want to notify them. Just make it smooth. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, you can just delete these ones. And you will send from the broadcast uh, this message. Okay, so the message would be only this. That's it, nothing else. And you can just click on it, hit send, and that's it. So you can manually unsubscribe them, but you cannot delete them until you upgrade to the pro plan. But uh, Andrew uh, actually mentioned in the Facebook group that uh, they may consider adding the removal options uh, for uh, free plan as well. Okay. So that's how you do it, and um, just to quickly show you how you can delete it, uh, these are the people tab where you can uh, just uh, look for the segment you want to have, and if the subscribe is unsubscribe, no one have this attribute now, but let's uh, say we have a lot of them, you can just have these people, you can see how many people from the total, and you can delete them. All right. So here as well, uh, the reachable users uh, are less than the total number of users, but you only pay for the reachable, so you don't have to care about this. 
So my second uh, tip is not on cutting the price, but making more of your existing user base. And uh, well, there are many ways to monetize. Uh, you can just Google it and look up for ways. Uh, if you run a business, it should be fairly obvious. If you have a bot with some sort of fun like memes or whatnot, the bare minimum that you can do is to look at uh, users who are more engaged. Uh, you can uh, use the arithmetic function. I'm not going to go into details now, but just be clever uh, when you send out or, or have some interactions. You can track these people and uh, you can send out a specific broadcast to them asking them to contribute because they use it a lot and love the service. And the bare minimum that you can do is just a paypal.me link uh, and they can send you something. And if you think about the prices, just if you get like a couple of bucks from each of these users, yeah, it can add up quickly and uh, it can be a monthly plan or a yearly or just a one-time fee. Uh, that's how Wikipedia is supports itself as well and many other things. So don't be embarrassed to ask for money to run uh, your services. Also, you can do it with the, like, the users upwards from 5,000. So if you say, okay, they are not the lucky one anymore and this service is paid, uh, it costs uh, $2 a year, something like that. So my third offer is uh, about saving time and making things a little bit more efficient and better. Uh, it's an a agency offer that I, I have for you now. So basically I will match the price that you would uh, receive from Chatfuel anyways. And uh, if you uh, use uh, our monthly services, uh, then you will receive for that price also uh, free uh, broadcasts, weekly broadcasts. I will take care of the broadcasts. You will uh, receive monthly reports uh, about your chat bot and how it uh, did. And also you will have the upgrades. If the platform changes, you will be notified about it. I will take care of these things as well. And if you have more than uh, 5,000 users, so if you have the package up to 10,000 users, uh, you will also receive uh, email uh, support. So if you have any questions about your bot, your messenger marketing, uh, just general what uh, things, concerns come up, you can message me and I will answer this via email. And it's uh, about within a reach, but it's like unlimited support uh, for the month. So uh, that's what you have from the bigger packages than 10,000. And uh, this offer is uh, limited to 10 uh, subscribers and only in the month of August. If you watch this video later, uh, feel free to reach out uh, and I will have the links below so you can uh, make this purchase and uh, that way you can uh, save some valuable time and maybe I just see something in your bot which uh, I can easily fix and would uh, have caused some damage later on. All right, um, that's about it for now. Uh, let me know what are your uh, strategies for uh, uh, getting rid of some customers. Uh, and actually, it's a big topic, guys, because we have a bot with 100,000 users and almost half of the users are not active. They, they didn't opt in to the extra opt-in we gave them. So uh, you can uh, cut down this by a lot. But anyways, just let me know if you stay on the free plan or just update and also what videos uh, you would love to hear from me. Uh, just shoot your questions and I will uh, answer them. And please subscribe.